This is the multi sampler. It's designed to take metre long sediment samples from the bottom of lake beds or river beds or sludge tanks. The sample tube is this acrylic tube here. It's a metre long and it's a 40 mil internal diameter. And these can be used uh, to take the sample and also uh, they can be capped off to retain a sample. And as you can see, they're clear so that you can see the sample that you've taken. And now we'll put this together. So we'll have a quick look at the main part of the sampler here. So this is it. There is a handle on the piston actuator. There is a spigot here to attach your extension rods with. Uh, this clip here is to hold the cable on, we'll get back to that in a minute. And underneath this piece of rubber there is a little valve here that allows the air to expel as you're pushing the sampler down, uh, or indeed the water. So let's put this together. Uh, this handle also comes off if you're using the sampler down a uh, perhaps a 100mm well or something. You can take this away so that the sampler can fit in a small diameter. And. Uh, so we'll just put that back on. So you can lower this down from a boat or a pontoon and you can use the extension rods to do that. We can put the extension rod on. I think this set comes with four extension rods. So we can lower straight through a body of water like this and also I'll just take this off for now. Yeah. to keep the rod in, in place, to keep the piston in place, we also have just a rope and a carabiner. So we can do that as well. We'll clip that on. On you get. So, right, let's go back to the other end. And we will fit one of the little pistons on. You can see it's got little springs inside to push the piston against the wall of the tubing, screw that on here, like so, now let's fit the sample tube, like so, that locates there, now I'm going to push the rod all the way down, that and now we can see piston in the bottom of the tube. Now we just select a cutting head. So we've got two different types of cutting shoes. This is open one here for an undisturbed sample but if you have a sample that's very uh, incohesive then we can use this shoe with a check valve to retain the sample you're taking. I'm just going to use the open shoe for now and we're going to hold that on with this stainless cable just strap these two loops on those screws and then come back up to the other end and there's a little hanger here put that hang there we go cable on the hanger and now uh, that sits over there and we clip that on and that's your sampler ready to go so that's in one piece and so the idea is put this here for a moment. Let's just imagine that this is the surface of the lake bed and we've got uh, water up this end. This is our water and here's our sediment. And then we're going to lower the assembly to the surface we could actually push it through and then take a sample, but we'll ignore that for now. We'll just start by taking the first meter here of sediment. So we're going to lower to here, and at this point, we're going to hang on to the rope at the other end. So the rope is attached to the plunger, which has got the piston at the other end. So that is what we do. We hang on to the rope. I'm going to do that now, and while we're hanging on to the rope, we're going to push the rest of the sampler into the sediment. So this is what's going to happen.
so with any luck the piston will stay more or less central, more or less level with the surface sediment and we have pushed this into that and now we can extract the whole lot and we just pull it back up to the surface and like a straw effect it keeps the sample in the tube and then we can cap, cap the tubing off or we can examine the uh, contents inside the tube as it is. Oh my word! Yeah, that's looking good. Do I like that? 